the three glass test. For such cases, a still further hint, none of these tests is proof, as to the conditions present may be obtained by making the patient pass his urine in three glasses instead of two without interrupting the flow of urine and transferring from one glass to another. The three specimens thus obtained represent one, bladder urine less sediment plus washings of urethra, two, bladder urine less sediment, three, bladder urine plus sediment or substances expressed by piston stroke. Yet this test is very rarely employed since its disclosures are confusing, failure to determine the derivation of the contents of the third glass, and require verification by other methods of examining prostate, bladder, and kidneys, which methods are themselves far more accurate than this three glass test. Another three glass test frequently employed as an aid in the diagnosis of chronic prostatitis or vesiculitis is the following. The patient urinates into two glasses but retains some urine in the bladder. The physician then massages the prostate or the vesicles, or both, and the patient then passes into a third glass the remaining urine, carrying with it the expressed secretion from the glands massaged. This test is accurate only in case the second urine is quite clear, and is necessary only when it is impossible to squeeze from the suspected gland enough secretion to make it appear at the meatus and when the instrumentation necessary to fill the bladder with a clean solution before massage is impracticable. Other tests. A variety of tests involving the use of a greater number of glasses have been devised for the specific purpose of locating inflammation in the anterior or posterior urethra exclusively. Their complexity is such that they are of no practical value. The essence of clinical urinalysis. The results to be expected from any of these methods of clinical urinalysis are directly proportionate to the skill of the examiner. The essence of the test is his ability to distinguish at a glance slight variations in the amount and quality of pus, blood, or shreds present. Thus, clinical urinalysis is of the greatest use for the prognosis from day to day. As a diagnostic test of the nature of disease, it is at its weakest.